Hey guys, how you doing? It's Andy Elliott, and I got a little interview going today with my man Johnny. Johnny, tell him what's up. What's going on, guys? How you doing? I'm checking in from uh, Redlands, California. Thank you for having me on, Andy. Yeah, so guys, so the reason why I told Johnny earlier, hey Johnny, let's have a little uh, YouTube video is because listen, and I want to tell you this, you want to pay attention to this. Johnny got in the car business last year, what, in August, Johnny? Is that right? Yeah, mid-August. Okay, so listen, it's March. Johnny's been selling cars for eight months. Long story short, number one, Johnny made the most money in his dealership last month out of everyone. Number two, Johnny got the most gross for the month in February out of his entire company. Think about that, guys. He's not, he's not a 10-year veteran. He's not a 20-year veteran. He hasn't been doing this forever. And at the end of the day, um, Johnny, tell him some of the steps that you've taken uh, to, to push yourself. How did, how, how did you get there? Just tell everybody what you're doing. All right, cool. So I think when I first started, I just, I just wanted to know more. Like naturally, like I just wanted to know more, right? Because I, I, I saw that right away, the training that I got was very basic. It was just like, here's a copy machine. Here's where we hang out and talk. And then like, that was it. Right. And so I just wanted to know more. So I just started looking, you know, um, I think if you seek for answers, you'll, you'll eventually find them. So I just started looking, I started like YouTube and stuff. And that's when I found you, Andy. And then, so I just started digging into a lot of his content that was online. I started kind of going over a lot of videos that was like word tracks and stuff like that. And so I started low key, like I started practicing. And then I saw Andy's course, the zero to hundred K fast. And I, you know, I, I thought about it like, like everybody would always think about, damn, like, should I invest this money? Should I spend this money? I don't even know this guy. Like naturally, like we're skeptic, right? Like we, we, we always think the safety first. And so I went on ahead and I just made that leap, man. And I just took that chance. I said, you know what? I, I want to make more. And to be like, I was only making like my first two or three months. Like my, my commission check was only like 400 bucks, 500 bucks. Right. And so along with my uh, hours check, I was barely making like two grand a month. And, and ain't nobody trying to, I mean, I live in California. Ain't nobody going to survive or have any type of life living off of $2,000. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Or any, anywhere. Society is too expensive, but especially not in California. Oh my Hell, God. No. Hell no. So I made the decision to buy the course. I went through the course, like ate it all up. You know, I printed everything out. I was underlining everything. I was, Okay, so the first time I went through it, I went through, I, I just, I went through it. But then the second time I went through it, it was more like I took my time with it. Instead of doing a few videos a day, I did one video a day. And then um, I would actually start to do the things that Andy was talking about doing in the video to where it was like, you show up to work, you walked a lot. Like I would, I would write it down. Everything that you, that you had on there, like I, I printed it out, I wrote it down. I got my own personal planner though too, but I would write it on that and then I would go do it. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, doing, doing the posting on Facebook, like that was my day. Everything that Andy talked about, like how to set up your day, I, I just started doing it. And then just little by little, my growth started going up. My confidence started going up. The little trial closes that you would have us do on uh, the test drive, do that is so golden. Like the yep. little, you know what I mean? And it, everything just started, it was, it was crazy. It was like, there were no objections. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, this is what I've been practicing. And then now the results are, are, are coming in. And so there was no resistance. And so, um, man, I, I, I don't know, like, it's just been crazy. Now, like, like Andy said a minute ago, I made, well, I don't know what I made just yet, but I, but I believe I would, I think I made about four grand uh, last month on commission. So total we'll say like 5,600. So you talk about a guy who came in here who didn't know nothing, never sold cars in my life. You know what I'm saying? Making two grand like to start, but now I'm almost, we can say I'm almost tripling that in a month and a half. Cause I've been rocking that's with Andy for about a month and a half. And it's like, dude, that's six weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dude, that's six weeks. And it's like, dude, naturally I'm an introvert, but I want to be extrovert. Like sometimes cause I'm a Libra. So I'm kind of like, you know what I mean? Like this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so dude, I just, I don't know, man, if you're hungry, it's here. And like you said, Andy, like, Here's the test, Andy gives you the Andy gives you the answers. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I just been doing it and crushing it. And so I'm just, I'm just excited, man, because I see the potential because there's so much more. Like zero to hundred. There's other stuff that Andy like we haven't even gotten to like negotiating, 
closing, warranties. What were we talking about earlier, Andrew? You were talking about the, the 13%. What, what was that again? It was... Uh, there we were talking about the one percenters? Well, no, no, no. We were talking about the 13%. People, or the, the people who have financed their vehicles at 13%. What was that you, you called oh, it? Oh, yeah. We were, we were talking about calling vehicle list. The customers that bought at cars two years ago that uh, paid 13% or higher in interest rates, we need yeah. to be calling them now. Mm-hmm. and getting them to come back into the dealership because they probably qualify for a better rate. And they'll just come right back to you. It's just, they're, they're ready. I mean, who yeah. wouldn't come back in for a better rate, right? Right. Who would say no to saving money, pretty much? <laughs> yeah, nobody. Yeah. Nobody. But a lot of those lists are just dead, but salespeople don't know what to do. The reason why is because every, management is so busy in dealerships. And a lot of the time they've been in management for, I don't know what, most managers have been in for five or 10 years at least, right? Yeah, well, for- well, the market has changed from 2010 to 2020. Mm. We're, we're, dude, 2015 training is outdated. Mm. You need 2020 training right now. Listen, I'm going to tell you, if, when, 20, when 2025 gets here, mm-hmm. don't buy my 2020 shit. Okay? <laughs> Yeah. No, because the customer is going to be different. It's just, yeah. the, I mean, I'm telling you right now, but I'm going to be dead on it and up to date in 2020. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in 2025, you know what I mean? So it's like, you, you, you need stuff that works right now today. And the training that you got just in six weeks, dude, tripling your income. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, man, that is, that is amazing, man. I mean, honestly, and imagine this. Now think about this. You invested what? $299, right? Correct. Right. You can wipe your butt with that, dude. <laughs> and I'm not saying wipe your butt with money, but I'm just saying like, dude, what would it cost you to go to college? Whew. I mean, right. how much would that, and how much are, is, are you guaranteed to make with that? Right. Nobody goes to college on 299. And, yeah. and, and hey, and, and another deal I want to talk about, um, you're coming to the Master Closer Seminar, right? Yeah, man, it's crazy because it's like, I didn't see myself taking myself this far i pushed myself this far i mean i i wanted to make i knew i came into this and i wanted to make some good money initially my goal was oh man i just want to make four grand a month but yeah man it's yeah i'm coming to the master seminar is it is that what it's called master seminar master seminar master closer seminar baby how to close anybody anytime any place baby for all the money you know what's funny andy like whenever i would be working like whenever i would come early to work take my cars out take pictures of them come back in I'd be right here on Facebook posting them. I would always get guys like coming, looking over my shoulder, like, what are you doing? Like, you know, or whatever. I would grab lists that you would tell me to grab. And I'd be making these phone calls, smashing them out. We're only supposed to do 30 calls, 30 texts and 30 emails. I'm always that guy that's doing like 40, 50, 60 calls, a hundred texts. Why are you, why are you making us look bad? I'm like, bro, I'm not, what? Like, I'm not doing anything to you. Like, <laughs> you know, but it's just everything that you talk about though, man, it's just, it's crazy, dude. It, 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 and is it, it's lonely at the top, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. How, how many people don't want you to make it? How many people are rooting for you to win right now? No one. <sighs> you know what they want to see? They want to see you not make it. And you know what? That pisses me off. But they, they don't want to see me make it. They don't want to see anybody make it. Anytime somebody steps out and says, I'm going to do something different, you got the haters. You got to put those hater blockers on. You know what I'm saying? just i roll around yeah. like this and guess what i always yeah. say this if you got 50 if you got 50 haters right now you need 100 by the summer because dude what? listen no nobody hates on you if you're playing on the sidelines and not winning right losers don't get hated on winners get hated on bro because right. haters are people that have already given up on their dream and when they see you chasing theirs it pisses them off yeah, and dude, I'm I'm telling you, man, and I'm gonna say this. You said you're in, uh, something you said earlier. You said, "Hey, I'm an, I'm an introvert. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm an introvert." Mm-hmm. But you know what? We're actors, and our job mm-hmm. in this world is to learn mm-hmm. the skill, acquire the skill. Mm-hmm. Just like actors, that you, you, do you think Brad Pitt in Hollywood, like you know, he acts. He's really that way. He is in his movies. No, mm-hmm. no. But you know what? He knows how to act, and they pay him all the money for it too. And you know what? This job is so easy and it's so hard at the same time. The reason why it's so hard is because we have so many lazy people around us and people that want to tell you, just go work harder, right? It's going to come to you. Just keep working hard. You don't need to invest in yourself. 
And that's the stupidest advice I've ever heard in my life. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? They want you to sit there with them. They don't want to see you win. You know what I mean? But one of the reasons why we make videos like this is because there's a guy that just started in last August out there. Mm. And he's thinking his management staff has told him that if he just keeps working hard, it'll, it'll pay off. And he's going to look up in three years. He's going to put in 70 hours a week. He's going to be disconnected with his family and his kids if he has one. He's going to be unmotivated. He's going to be burnt out. And here you are. You're going to be making $30,000 a month in three years from now. And you got a good life. You're designing your own life. You're, you, you, you work your own schedule because you're that talented. You can do whatever you want. You make huge growth. And shit, man, you're just getting warmed up. You know what I mean? So, Yes, sir. Any, anything you want to say as we finish off? Anything you want to say to the guys out there? Maybe yeah. maybe new people in the business. Anybody. Yeah. I, I just want to say, I, I would just say, just be patient, guys, you know, and, and girls, like, just be patient because, like, success just, it, it's not overnight. I mean, we know that. I mean, shout out to the, the great Kobe Bryant. Like, that was a guy who I followed when I was young. I mean, that guy, just watching, like, a lot of stuff on YouTube on him and the way he just, by year, year by year, he got better and better and better. And he wanted to be great. And so he was willing to put in the work in order to become great. And so that just takes patience. It takes a lot of practicing and it takes a lot of sacrifice. Relationships may suffer. A lot of the, it's funny, a lot of the guys may ask, I mean, this is a car industry. Hey, you want to go for a drink after work? I, you know what I normally tell them? No, my trainer needs my ass in the gym tomorrow morning. And it's just not, it's just not like, oh, I just want to be great at cars. I want to be great in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure, Andy, I'm pretty sure your life is the same way, bro. Like, yeah. Look fit. I, I, mean, I, remember, I remember it's funny because I remember watching the videos of you like five years ago, and then now it's like, and I was fat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was fat, bro. Dude, I needed to, I need to stop eating so so much. <laughs> you know how car guys will bring you know how car guys will bring in like Arby's and Burger right. King and McDonald's and you don't want to eat it but once you smell it you're like give me a burger give me a burger but so we were we were hustling making money but man I got fat dude I'm gonna tell you this it it it, it can it can sneak up on anybody you got to take care of yourself you know what I'm saying mentally spiritually physically take care of yourself hundred percent it's not just you know, in this lane, no, you got to be on the freeway. You got to be, you got to be taking all that. You got to be taking it all out, man. Cause then yeah. I feel like you, you rise. Well, how, how does that one quote say, uh, uh, like how the, how the, how the water rises all ships or something like that. But you know yeah, what I'm talking about? Tide, when, the, when the tide rises, all ships rise. You got to be the tide, yeah. man. You can't yeah, go with the flow. Gotta be the flow, you know? <laughs> well, and, and listen, and I'm going to tell you something. People, you're the new guy in the dealership in August. You come in. People are already watching you. They're seeing that you're different. They know something special. And the fact is, there is something special. You're investing in yourself. You see yourself as an investment. And you're not going to waste time. And you know what? Mm -hmm. In a year, in two years from now, the incredible thing about it is, these guys, they're going to be chasing you as hard as they can. And because you're at the top, they'll naturally make more money because you'll be that tide that's rising. And in, in, in our in my life, the more money that you make, Johnny, the more money that everybody else makes, the happier I am. Because I remember what it was like when my management staff would say, I don't have time to train these guys. And I'm like, man, they're not going to make it. They're done. They're not going to make it. Right. Because they can't. And they go work constantly. And then, you know, 70 hours a week later, two years later, they've lost their family. They don't see their kids. They're dead broke. They've mortgaged everything they have. And the car business is one of the best businesses in the world to be in. But if you don't do what you're doing, which, A, I'm so proud of you, and which is invest in yourself. And I say that because it's like going to college to get a degree. This is our degree. Right. This is our degree for sales. We're, we're a student of selling for the rest of our life. And like you said, we want to live our best life and be totally fulfilled, right? In every area. 100%, brother. 100%. Okay, man. Listen, well, have a great day, dude. I'm glad that everybody got a chance to meet you. I will see you at the seminar. Okay, brother? Yes, sir. Thank you so much for having me on, Andy. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. We got old Tony. Tony, say what up. Tony, uh, Tony, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend. Yes, sir.
Yeah, sorry. Okay, so we so we will see you at the seminar, brother. Have a blessed day, man. Rock and roll, and I appreciate your time, okay? All right. Thank you so much, Andy. Have a blessed day. All right, brother. All right. Peace. Bye-bye.